China's Communist Party has wrapped up its twice-a-decade Congress, approving amendments that cement President Xi Jinping's grip on the party. A sweeping reshuffling of Central Committee members sees a few top officials step down, allowing Mr. Xi to appoint new allies. Our delegates have also approved a resolution obliging party members to uphold his core position in the party. Mr. Xi reaffirms the importance of the work of the Congress. Some 200 newly elected members of the Central Committee will be meeting tomorrow to approve members of the Politburo and Politburo Standing Committee. Olivia Xiong with more from Beijing. A new 205-member Central Committee of China's Communist Party was elected on Saturday as a week-long twice-a-decade party congress came to an end. Media were not allowed to witness votes being cast for the party's top leadership body, but notably missing from the list of newly elected members released after was Chinese Premier Li Keqiang and three others from the current elite decision-making Politburo Standing Committee, ruling them out for reappointment to the party's apex of power. 72-year-old Li Zhanshu, who now heads China's legislature, and 68-year-old Vice Premier Han Zheng were among those excluded from the Central Committee. They had widely been expected to step down, in line with the party's unwritten rules that require those aged 68 and above to retire. So the exclusion of Premier Li, the country's number two ranked official, is noteworthy. This given Mr. Li's only 67 and yet to hit retirement age. Questions, though, over Mr. Li's fate at this leadership reshuffle had been swirling even prior to the Congress. Mr. Li had previously confirmed he would relinquish the post of Premier next March when he reaches his two-term limit under the Constitution. Mr. Li has also been widely viewed to have been sidelined during his tenure as Mr. Xi put himself in charge of more areas, including the country's economy, in the last decade. Current head of the country's top political advisory body, Wang Yang, who had been named by observers as one of the potential contenders to succeed Mr. Li as Premier has also been excluded. The 67-year-old, who is also under the retirement age, was seen to have been qualified for the Premiership, having served as a deputy in the past, which has been a convention that has been followed for the role. Seen as a Liberal, experts say what could have upset the former Guangdong Party chief's chances was that he did not enjoy long working ties with Mr. Xi and is associated with a rival faction. Months of speculation are set to be put to rest when the party's top decision, Politburo Standing Committee, meets the press next here at the Great Hall of the People on Sunday. For now, the only thing that seems certain, though, is that Mr. Xi is likely to hold on to his top post as General Secretary of the Communist Party and Chairman of the Central Military Commission. Now, who takes up the other spots in this leadership lineup still remains to be seen. Analysts say the door is now open for Mr. Xi to stack the standing committee with his allies, many expect it to be from a younger generation too, although no successor to Mr. Xi is expected to emerge this time round. While such meetings are usually highly choreographed, Mr. Xi's predecessor Hu Jintao was escorted out of the auditorium midway through proceedings in an unusually unplanned moment. As media were led into the hall to witness the closing session, the 79-year-old former president was seen exchanging words with Mr. Xi and patting the shoulder of Mr. Li as he left, supported by a steward. No explanation was given for his departure, and he remained absent from proceedings after. Although all attentions soon returned to one man who's set to make history. Uh. 
团结带领全国各族人民，为实现党的二十大确定的目标任务而奋斗。Mr. C exuding confidence as he declared the Congress a success and closed, even as he and his new leadership team will have to steer China through headwinds like a slowing economy, an aging population, and tensions with the West. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.